Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the recent CrowdStrike massive IT outage, as I posted on earlier today, affected approximately 8.5 million Windows PCs worldwide and didn't impact Mac and Linux hosts. Now, although this time around the outage was only hitting Windows PCs, apparently this is not an isolated case and has been affecting Linux over the last couple of months where there have been similar problems that have been occurring on Linux which haven't gained much awareness despite the fact that last week's um, outage has been viewed as an isolated Windows incident. Now, although the Linux outage was not as large or on such a great scale as last week's Windows outage, apparently users of Debian and Rocky Linux have also experienced significant disruptions as a result of recent CrowdStrike updates. And the first one we're going to look at was back in April, April the 19th of this year to be exact, where a CrowdStrike update caused all Debian Linux servers in a Civic Tech, tech Lab to crash and refuse to boot. So very similar to what we saw with the outage starting late last week on Windows PCs. And apparently the problem was that the update was incompatible with the latest stable version of Debian, although being supported. And the problem was resolved by removing CrowdStrike from those machines and removing CrowdStrike then actually caused those machines to be able to boot up. Although it took apparently several weeks for CrowdStrike to provide a root cause analysis. Now the next one, um, apparently CrowdStrike users also reported similar issues after upgrading to Rocky uh, Linux 9.4 with once again servers crashing due to a kernel bug. So very similar to last week's Windows incident. And this um, is dated to May the 13th of this year, 2024. And apparently CrowdStrike support acknowledged the issue. And um, this does highlight though, and is a bit of a cause for concern, where there is a pattern it seems of inadequate testing and insufficient attention to compatibility issues across different operating systems. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention because this has gained a lot of interest. And although, obviously, as we can see, the Linux outages um, reported in these two incidents and these two cases weren't as um, on such a large scale as last week's Windows outage, it does seem that CrowdStrike needs to um, do a little bit more testing across um, all supported configurations. And as I get more info, obviously, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.